हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सेक्शन 206 सी क्लोज 1 एच दैट इज रिलेट टू टीसीएस ऑन सेल कंसीडरेशन रिसीव्ड द सेक्शन इज इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम 1 अक्टूबर 2020 द सेक्शन इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय बजट 2020 इन फेब्रुवारी 2020 एंड इट इज एप्लीकेबल फ्रॉम 1 अक्टूबर 2020 Let us discuss what the section says. As per this section, the seller of the goods is liable to collect the TCS from the buyer on sales of goods. So here, remember, it is applicable on sales of goods. So here, if there is a sales of services, then this section is not applicable. Further, the turnover of the sellers. Is more than ten crore in the preceding financial year. If the turnover of the seller is not more than ten crore in the preceding financial year, then this section is not applicable. Further, the TCS shall be collected if the value received from the buyer is more than fifty lakhs in a financial year. So, if the value received from the buyer is Less than fifty lakh, then no TCS is required under this section. Further, TCS is collected on the value which is received, which exceeds rupees fifty lakh. Same for example, if the total value is received sixty five lakh, then the TCS shall be collected on sixty five less fifty lakh. So TCS shall be collected on. 15 lakhs only now the question is what is the rate of tcs so the rate of tcs is 0.1% further if the pen of the buyer is not available then what is the rate of tcs then the rate is 1% so if pen is available the rate of tcs is 0.1% if pen is not available then rate of tcs is 1% However, for the purpose of financial year 2020-2021, there is a reduction of a TDS and TCS rate by 25 percent. So, for the purpose of this year only, that is financial year 2021, the rate of TCS under this section is 0.075 percent. Otherwise, as per this section, the rate is 0.1 percent. Now there is a proviso as well as some clarification issued by the CBDT. What it says about as per this section, whatever the TCS we are calculating, there is a no adjustment is required for the purpose of sales return discount as well as the GST. So for the purpose of collecting the TCS. You have to collect the TCS on the amount which is inclusive of a GST as well as the discount. If there is any sales return, then also we not have to consider this sales return amount. So there will be a no adjustment on account of sales return, discount, or GST. So the what is the heart of this section that TCS is applies on the consideration received. So the section talks about the applicability is only when where the turnover of the seller is more than 10 crore in the preceding financial year further he has received the consideration more than 50 lakhs from the buyer then whatever the exceed amount more than 50 lakh on that portion the tcs is applicable further the tcs shall be on the gst inclusive amount so there will be a no adjustment for sale return discount as well as the gst now the provision is applicable from 1 october 2020 however for the purpose of calculating the limit of a 50 lakhs rupees whatever the amount is received from 1 april 2020 to 30 september 2020 that amount will be included for the purpose of calculating the limit of 50 lakhs now the tcs under this provision is applicable only on the sales of goods only it will not apply on the sales of services as we have previously discussed 
it is apply only if the turnover in the preceding financial year exceed 10 crore this provision is not apply when the buyer is liable to deduct tds so when the buyer is obliged to deduct the tds under the other provision of the act or other section of the income tax act 1961 then this tcs provision under section 206c 1h will not be available now one of the case ideally the normal invoice shall be issued without tcs for the purpose of applicability under section 206 c 1h because under this section tcs is applicable on the consideration value so whenever the consideration is received and it will cross the 50 lakhs amount so on such consideration which cross the 50 lakh that is suppose 51 lakh is received then only 51 minus 50 lakh only on 1 lakh we will calculate the tcs by considering the receipt amount inclusive of a tcs and uh, we will issue the debit net to our debtors same for example mr x received 75 lakh from mr y as on 1st november 2020 the turnover of mr x in the preceding financial year is 12.5 crore here the excess amount in excess of 50 lakh is 75 minus 50 lakh so excess amount is 25 lakh so on this 25 lakh tcs is applicable so we will consider the tcs rate is 0.1 percent but for this year that is 2020-21 there is a 25 percent reduction so the effective rate is 0.075 percent so now we will calculate the tcs rate under this section so what is the excess amount this is 25 lakh so we will consider this 25 lakh is a inclusive of a tcs amount so 25 lakh divided by how much percentage 100 plus 0.075 percent so the 25 lakh divided by 100.0.075 percent multiply by 100 so the tcs exclusive amount is 24,98,126. Now, if you calculate reverse, that is TCS on this amount, this is basic amount, at the rate of 0.075%, then you will find the TCS is 1874. And if you made total of this basic plus TCS, you will again get 25 lakhs amount. Now, the question will arise, how you will pass the entry in your bookshop account? So, Entry in the books of X that is at the time of receipt of money, bank account will be debited to Mr. Y's account with total amount that is 75 lakh. Now, at the time of collecting TCS, we are issuing the debit note. So, at the time of issue of debit note, the, in the books of X, the entry will be Mr. Y's account debit that is with TCS amount 1874 to tcs payable under section 206c 1h that is 1874 so this is the new entry due to this section 206c 1h this new entry is required to be passed in the bookshop account now what will be the entry in the bookshop y so at the time of making the payment the entry will be mr x account debit 75 lakh to bank account 75 lakh now what is the entry for the purpose of tcs when the debit note is received from mr x so tcs receivable account or a tcs receivable under section 206 c 1h account debit with amount of 1874 to mr x account that is 1874 so this is the main entry for the purpose of tcs in the books of debtors as well as the creditors now there may be a case that uh, you have received the advance from one of the customer which exceeds rupees 50 lakh and it is received after 1st October 2020 and your turnover in the preceding financial year is more than 10 crore. Then obviously the section 206C1H will be applicable and you are required to collect the TCS. So at the time of received, you have to collect the TCS. So, whenever you are getting the advance and you cross the limit 
और 50 लाख टन TCS इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी कैलकुलेट सो देयर मे बी अ केस दैट एडवांस इज रिसीव्ड यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड द TCS ऑन इट एंड यू हैव आल्सो डिपॉजिटेड द TCS टू द गवर्नमेंट एंड आफ्टर देन सच ऑर्डर विल बी कैंसिल्ड सो देयर विल बी अ नो सेल ट्रांजैक्शन सो व्हाट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑन सच TDS डिपॉजिटेड टू द गवर्नमेंट so as per the clarification issued by the central board of direct tax there will be a no adjustment on account of a sales return or a discount or a gst so cbdt is already clarified that there will be a no adjustment on account of a sales return so there will be a no effect if tcs is already paid to the government because buyer or the person who has given the advances and after then he have cancel the order he is also getting the credit for such tcs in their annual financial statement that is 26 as uh, at the time of filing the it return one more thing is cbdt has clarified the provision of section 206c one edge that this section is not apply on a sale consideration received for a fuel supply to the non resident airline at the airport in india so whatever the fuel is supplied to the non resident airline at the airport in india then for such consideration received such tcs is not applicable now how to pay tcs on is online we have already have a video so i am giving link for such video in the video description now what is the code for the purpose of payment of tax that is tcs under section 206c 1h the code will be 6cr in chalan number 281 further this tcs must be required to be paid within 7 date from the end of the one in which tcs is required to be collected further the tcs return must be filed quarterly in form number 27q so i hope you will understand this section 206c1h thank you